meanwhile, back at L. Thompson Lincoln's office. And how can I be of help, Mrs. Destine? I think I can help you, Mr. Lincoln. What makes you think I need any help? Oh, little things. The shuttered window, that unusual statue on the ledge outside. Point taken. <coughs> how about you uh, cut to the chase? Fine. Tony Dracon, Thomas Frog, Silvio Manfredi, all in jail. Hammerhead, Sable Manfredi, on the run. This gives you a unique opportunity to reclaim what was lost. I'm sure L. Thompson Lincoln has no idea what you're talking about. But go on. You have three problems. Green Goblin, Dr. Octopus, and the government watching your every move. And you have a solution? I have a man. Three supers to take down the competition. And Dominic Raycon to use as a figurehead. The old man? I heard he was shy of few brain cells. It's easy enough to spread the word he was faking insanity to avoid prosecution. And easy enough to assign him as a keeper. Meanwhile, he's a Dracon, and that name still carries weight, I believe. It does. But, uh, what would you want in exchange? Nothing extraordinary. Just the services of the Tinkerer. I believe that can be arranged. Lovely. But let's not allow the moths to gather. You'll want to move fast before the octopus retrieves his arms. The weather has turned cold. The silver spoon, three men in trench coats and hats wait for their coffee. Order 69. Yes, here. Walter sits down with Electro and Dr. Octopus. Thank you, Adrian. <laughs> now, my arms in an Oscorp vault. At Rikers? Shh. Not the vault. A vault. Still very high security, and the police are bound to expect our arrival. But... Indeed. Oscorp. Even in death, Norman Osborne torments me. But it cannot be helped. I must have my arms. We go in under cover of darkness. Tonight! Three men exit through one door. Two teenagers enter through another. Order 70. Try to understand, Tiger. I just can't do that to Gwen. She's really become my best friend at Midtown. Well, it's not that we'd be making out or anything, right? Uh, right. 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 Coupling? <laughs> that would be great, but look at it from her point of view. She took all the risks, and you still wound up with Liz. There's no way she'd see me as anything but a threat. Oh, wait, that sounded really conceited. Well, have you looked in a mirror? <laughs> it's not conceited, it's just fact. Oh, nice one. Such a player. You're right. The world's the loneliest player. Stop it. I know you don't want to hurt Gwen either. Not after all the two of you have been through. Yeah. I wonder if Miss Brandt likes Miami. I'm kidding. Kidding. Wow. That's pretty good. That, that was practically the look. Or 71. <laughs> so you're, you're just not going? Oh, I'm going. It's 48 degrees outside. It's 82 in Miami. I asked Tiny to be my plus one. Tiny? Tiny McKeever? That guy's got the brain of an amoeba. He makes King Kong look like a genius. Hell, he makes Flash look like Stephen Hawking. <laughs> <laughs> He's cute. I just wish I could skip the whole thing. But Aunt May's going, and after her heart attack, I really think she could use some fun in the sun. Oh, sorry to interrupt, guys. I couldn't help overhearing. Oh, hey, Seymour. Just wanted to let you know that Harry invited me to. <laughs> I'm totally going stag, dude. I mean, who wants a ball and chain when Miami Beach is full of honeys, right? <laughs> just don't expect to hang out, okay? You'd fully cram my style. Of course I would. Order 72. Meanwhile, the tinker arrives at the Destiny Mansion. You have the devices? Five is all I can put together on such short notice, unless you want to bring the stereo in. Our stage is crowded enough. <laughs> <laughs> and five should do quite nicely. Later that afternoon, Harry's rented a party bus, and the gang is en route to the airport, stuck in heavy traffic on the expressway. Very prepared Nate Parker has a clipboard. All right. We have three adults and 16 children. Sorry, 16 teenagers. That's 19 sojourners bound for Florida. So why did my head count come to 20? 
I think you counted the bus driver, Mrs. Parker. Oh, that I did. Hey, <laughs> hey twist my arm. I'll go with, to Miami with you guys. Was anyone talking to you? Uh, no. Then eyes front. Eyes front. Gary, are you all right? I don't know. All this stopping and you was starting is just know it's a little queasy. Dude, does this bus rock or what? School. Damn right, it's cool. <laughs> what if I'm taking this baby all the way to Florida? <laughs> Excuse me? It's a bus. Sally's right. We're not ditching the private jet for a bus. Right, Jason? Uh. Right? It really is a very nice bus, though. Hey, I'm not offended. I'm, I still can't believe the Osbournes hired me again. The last time I got the two. Oh, dude! You totally rear ended that guy at the toll booth! <laughs> <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Wonderful. Now we'll be stuck here forever. Everybody stay calm. Oh man, I gotta use a John. <laughs> <laughs> I think Osborne's gonna hurl. Oh my god. If my hair starts smelling like vomit, I'll sue you for bus driver malpractice. Sorry? Sorry. <laughs> the sun sets at the castle, the gargoyles awaken. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you must be Zafiro. How did you know? Strong family resemblance. Ten A long story. Time travel, the future, whole other spin-off. Two actually. <laughs> we don't have time for your spin-offs. Only stop will like. He didn't sleep here. Uh, but I'm sure he'll be back soon. He better. We have trouble. Demona trouble. Elisa. Hi, Obsidiana. I'm betting you have trouble too. And while the clan awaits Goliath's return. It's time, Calypso. Yes, the forces gather. We can make this one our own. I demand you let me go. Hold your tongue, American dog, or Goliathkin will hold it for you. Calm yourself. This change will not be difficult. The primitive bound within is barely skin deep. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I think you do. You see, my companion, the details may have been created in a laboratory. But the soul of the hunter, the beast inside, is all my own. What are you doing with that doll? Turning it inside out. Listen to me, please. Even if you can release the beast inside, you don't want to. It can't be controlled. Yet, not by you, perhaps. But my Calypso is not so easily trifled with. It is time. No! <laughs> somewhere further south. Two human smugglers carrying an object of great power to the room. My mate is sensitive to these things. We tracked them, but they boarded the jet airplane and were soon out of our reach. Pero still I could sense great forces gathering. I asked Jade and Turquesa to teach us the way for Avalon. Gabriel says hello, by the way. Oh, Crystal. How is he? <laughs> Angela, honey, let's stay on point. I take it Avalon sent you here. Yes. We nearly achieved the totems, but a ridiculous human dressed in red and blue. Spider-Man? Yes, well, he, he spins webs like a spider, but through his hands, not his own. Focus, <laughs> 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 